back in November of 2021, I made an update video about the Georgia real estate market. And if you'll remember, I mentioned that interest rates were going to rise this year in 2022. <laughs> Economists are predicting that interest rates will increase in 2022, which is going to have a huge impact on the affordability factor for buyers. A tiny increase in interest rate will have a huge impact on the monthly payment, and it's going to price buyers out in this already tight and competitive market. Now, at that point in time, they were forecasting that rates were going to increase in the fall of 22. Well, here it is January and we are already seeing these interest rates rise. This is happening much faster than we anticipated. We knew it was coming, just not this soon. So what does that mean for home buyers? And will these rising rates mean it'll be easier to buy a house because buyers will be deterred because of higher interest rates? Well, not quite. So let's start with how this increase in interest rates will affect home buyers. Let's take a look at this buyer's purchasing power chart. You'll see that if you bought a house for $440,000 back when interest rates were historically low, like they were in early 2020 at 2.75%, your monthly payment would be around $1,800. If you were to buy that same $440,000 house with a 4% interest rate, your monthly payment is going to be just at $2,100. That is a $305 increase per month and $3,666 more each year. Over the life of your 30-year mortgage, you're looking at paying an additional $109,000 in interest. That's a lot. Another way to look at this is back when interest rates were so low, you could have a monthly payment of about $1,800 for that $440,000 home and at a 4% interest rate, a tiny bit smaller monthly payment of $1,719 and a 4% interest rate would only get you a $360,000 home if you wanted to keep that payment the same. So that's $80,000 less of a house for just about the same payment. Luckily, interest payments haven't quite reached 4% mark yet, but we are getting there, folks. And this gives you a good idea of just how impactful an increase in interest rates is really you know, to your buying power. Right now, rates are in the high threes. As of today of filming this video, they are 3.75%. 30 days ago, we were still in the low threes. I was chatting with one of our local lenders and she said this week, like I just mentioned, 3.75% and they keep ticking up daily. She said that we would anticipate that we were gonna be at 4% in no time. Now, if you are a first time home buyer or were a first time home buyer in 2020, when rates were historically low, you might think 4% is crazy, but you have to keep in mind the whole historically low part of this equation. Those rates in the twos were literally unheard of and were literally historically low during the chaos that was 2020. In 2019, back when life was good and we were blissfully unaware of what was about to hit us, mortgage rates averaged at 3.9, almost 4%. So if you bought a house back in, let's say 2014, you would have seen rates around four and a quarter. And as we get closer to that 4% mark now, we're starting to get back to a more normal range and moving away from those historically low interest rates that we've seen over the past two years. Now. Are these increasing interest rates going to affect competition in the market? Well, plain and simple, no, not really. Like we just talked about, this increase in interest rate is putting us back in the normal category. If you bought a home prior to the last two years, you would have already seen these rates and they wouldn't come as a shock to you. Many home buyers can remember a time when interest rates were 6%. Heck, you can even talk to parents, grandparents, they paid interest rates in the teens. Could you imagine an interest rate that high? That would be crazy. To most, you know, these rates are to be expected, so they are not even phased by the slight uptick. In fact, to some, it's almost motivating to some buyers who want to buy before those rates increase even more, especially since the cost of homes continue to increase. We have still seen insane competition here in the Northeast Metro Atlanta area, especially during this first quarter of 2022. We're hopeful that we're gonna see more inventory come on the market 
and perhaps this slight increase in interest rates may deter some buyers to go back into renting or give up their hopes of buying a home. It's really sad. We don't want you to give up your hopes of buying a home and we want this dream to be possible for everyone. That is a slight possibility and it is a slight possibility that if interest rates continue to increase throughout the year, that these increase in home prices might start to stabilize just a little bit so that we're not seeing these crazy increases. That's something to consider and something that we might see coming up in the market this year. However, that impact is not going to be enough to stabilize the market. There are still a ton of buyers that want to buy a home and there's simply not enough homes out there for them to buy. Demand still exceeds extraordinarily exceeds the supply that we have. And it's not just here in the Atlanta market. This is happening all across the country in most metro areas. So I recently made a video talking about home prices and competition in Alpharetta, Georgia. And I told you of an, a client that were interested in putting in an offer. And that offer was an insane offer of what that house ended up selling for, $100,000, $200,000 over asking. So this past week, we had clients who were interested in a property in coming Georgia where the home had 130 showing requests and 32 offers. Clearly, there's still no shortage of eager buyers who want to find their new home. My team and I, we get phone calls every single day from people who live all across the United States who are looking to relocate here to Georgia because the cost of living is so much more affordable than that of many other states. And for some people, let's say California, for example, they simply cannot afford to buy a home in the town they are currently renting in. It would cost them upwards of a million dollars to do so. They would rather use that same money they are paying towards rent and put it towards that mortgage payment instead. A million dollar home in California with a 4% interest rate puts you at a monthly payment of $4,800 a month. That same home would probably cost you around 400,000 here in Georgia, maybe 500,000. If we go with that 400 number at a 4% interest rate, you're looking at a monthly payment of $1,900. Because there are still so many people choosing to relocate here to Georgia for a variety of different reasons, we are not seeing a slowdown of buyers just because interest rates are beginning to normalize. So if you are thinking about buying a home in 2022 and you have the flexibility of time and even moving up your time frame, now is the time to get on that home search and get into a home before those interest rates go up any higher and before home prices go up any higher. So Sarah, we want to move to Georgia, but we don't know where. Where do we even start? Well, you are in the right place. We have a ton of videos helping you get familiar with all the different towns across North Metro Atlanta area. And of course, we're always available for a phone call to help get that strategy session going to help find you a home here in Georgia. I'm Sarah Mislowski with Key Point Homes Group and you can find our contact information below this video. We look forward to helping you find your Georgia home.